Today we've got Maxwell Chikambutso, an inventor who created a converter that can convert radio waves into usable energy. Now this is a converter that doesn't require any type of fossil fuel. It doesn't need oil, doesn't need petrol, doesn't need gas, it doesn't use solar panels. It just converts the radio waves from in the air, like the air where we have, and converts it into usable energy, which everyone is calling a free energy device or a non-fueling um, free energy device. So I'm going to show you this video. Just check this out. What we're looking at is called the green power of grid machine. It is half a megawatt and we are relying with the radio frequency. We're high as a radio frequency converted into pure energy that is useful. It is called a microsonic energy device. A microsonic energy device, it is the generator in this machine. I like how he just, the way he explains it, it's like he's so chuffed about it, which he should be, that he's like speaking as if he's speaking from the sky. Like he's speaking like as if he's a god. He's like, this is the first time that this has ever been done. So there's no oil burning, there's no fires going on or anything. So, wh wh where, wh so where's the energy coming from? Well, I'm missing it straight away from the the, nat the natural energy that God has just to put in the air, in, in, in our, on our earth. Yeah, the radio frequency. Chicken Butso's work got a lot of attention from Foster Gamble, the producer of the famous Thrive documentary. Gamble, along with scientist Neil Rugnarud, went to Zimbabwe in 2018 to check if Chicken Butso's technology was real. After weeks of testing, Rugnarud and his team found out that the 500 kilowatt generator worked just like Chicken Butso said it would. This was shown in Thrive 2, a movie that came out on September 26, 2020, and was translated into 15 languages. We're here today to start the vetting process and find out, okay, what, what's real? Over 95% of the time, these things aren't what they claim to be. This time we took engineer Nils Rognerud to assist with the vetting. For people who are not familiar with this, half a megawatt, how much will that power in terms of a house or a community or what? We're talking of about 300 uh, standard house homes, yeah, okay. that you can power with one machine. 300 homes, so that's really good because it doesn't use any additional source. It doesn't use petrol, it doesn't use fossil fuels. It just generates um, electricity from the radio waves in the air and converts that into electricity that 300 households can use. This could be groundbreaking and game-changing for Africa. So I know there's a lot of people in Africa who still don't have electricity or have electricity where generators shut down and the electric cuts out at night and they haven't got like free flowing electricity 24 hours a day like they should do. This type of technology can help to light up Africa. A couple of strangers showed up on the site where we were being shown these devices and Maxwell, the inventor, took us aside as soon as he could and said, these guys are from the government. The microphone we had on Maxwell picked up the conversation that he had with one of the officials. So we quickly got the tape translated and found out that the government official was promising Maxwell a power purchase agreement where the government would pay him for generating energy for the country. That's exactly what you need. You would want to light up Zimbabwe, produce energy for the government, let the government pay you a license fee, because I don't think this guy's got a patent. Apparently he's trying to patent it and they won't give him a patent for it, which means that people can basically copy the idea and they won't have to pay him. So keep it in Zimbabwe, help the government to produce energy that can light up the country. Then look to the next country, how can we produce energy for you guys to light up your country? When Maxwell was put in prison, he was put in a cell with one of the richest guys in Zimbabwe, a man named Genius, that's his real name, whom the government had jailed to extort more money from. Maxwell was in great despair and praying for like five or six hours at a time. It was driving Genius crazy. And he was saying, why are you praying so much? Shut up. Finally, they ended up talking and Genius was impressed and said, okay, I'll help you, man. It was the most unlikely, couldn't have scripted it way for Maxwell to be able to have somebody on his team with real business savvy and support. And it was forged right there in prison. I love that. Yo, my guy in every shot, every, in every shot, my guy's got a cup, you know. My guy's got a cup in every shot, man don't stop drinking. It's like, man, it's so hot out there, it's so dry. You always need a cup of water with you, you know. 
And that bottle, he's always got that bottle, you get me? So you were asking where the energy came from. You mentioned the other day the sun, yes. but it's not like solar energy, I, No, right? it's yeah. not, we're not using solar energy because this one is not even affected with clouds, light and things right. like that. It just work. So the, the energy, the, the radio frequencies mm -hmm. that you're harnessing, yeah. th are they there in space, in the field all the time? Yes, they are from the first day we started to test the machine, we have been analyzing and we saw that the radio frequency is there. But one thing that we want to know for sure is, is it alien or is it, is it man-made from another planet or <laughs> is it from God? That's where we need, I think, scientifically, scientific people to define exactly. But we know the radio frequency, we have everything. Yeah. A Zimbabwean electrical engineer expressed both skepticism and curiosity. If this is real, it's Nobel Prize worthy, but extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. We need peer review studies, independent tests, and transparency before declaring it's a breakthrough. Chikambuzo insists that his technology has undergone certifications and testing, including ISO standards, FCC approvals, and verification by Zimbabwe's Vehicle Inspection Department, VID. However, no published scientific validation currently exists. If it's still a fully charged battery, the test is successful. It's not screws. Oh, that's 217. That's, that's, that's perfect. We get it. So that's the, that's the 18 battery. Yeah, that's the 18 battery. Okay. So that's higher than the nominal voltage. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> wow! That is awesome. That's the 18 uh, volt batteries. That's higher voltage. <laughs> Thank you. Give us two thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> One final check of the battery voltage revealed a shocking result. Not only had the machine outlasted the expected battery life, but the batteries were still fully charged. This proved that the device was being powered from an unknown energy source. <laughs> This is one of the happiest days of my life and I am so proud of this man who has gone through so much. He's listened to the voice of the divine coming through him and he's done whatever it takes to bring this through for humanity. So congratulations my friend. Thank you so much. Now we're going to get you well. He says that he and his research partner were poisoned in Silicon Valley, USA. He thinks powerful people in the oil and car industries did it. We were poisoned. My partner didn't make it. He died in January 2017. But thanks to God, I survived, Chicken Butso said. This isn't the first time the inventors have faced trouble when they introduced new energy technologies. There's no proof that Chicken Butso was poisoned, but his suspicion shows how dangerous his work could be to big industries, according to experts. This remarkable claim challenges established scientific principles, particularly the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. Chicken Butso acknowledges that his invention has faced skepticism, even being denied a patent on the basis that it violates natural laws of physics. However, rather than abandon his project, he chose to protect it as a trade secret, ensuring that it's continued development without the need for a patent approval. We don't have access to these world-changing breakthroughs because we're not allowed to have them. Virtually every solution we found has been made illegal or suppressed, often violently. Maxwell's been imprisoned and tortured to try to get his secrets. And he and his first partner, before Genius, were both poisoned. Maxwell's still recovering from it, and his partner died. One of the... Of of the painful reality I have seen in the in energies. This is a very dangerous game altogether. Yeah, especially free energy because uh, you know, as I said, if they can try to 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 kill to kill it using professional people, and that has happened to me. I went through a lot poisons, like I'm saying right now. I'm fighting it. They come to you, then they said, no, you mustn't do this. Uh, when they see that, you know, you're, you're not giving up, then they can just frame you. Then they can say, no, you've done ABC. My prayer is this thing must save the light of the day.
they've got the chance to have zero emissions of um, fossil fuels or fuels that can damage the atmosphere. They've got that opportunity to do that, but they don't really want it. You know, they've got an African inventor to do it. And you'll see inside the Five Two documentary that there are other inventors who have done such things as well. It's not just Chicken Butso, uh, Maxwell Chicken Butso. But this is a great invention. I think he's um, absolute genius. And I want us to take my hat off to you, Maxwell Chikambuzo. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like that video, I'm going to be bringing more about Africa. Um, I want to connect with a lot of you. If anyone wants to come on a live with me and do a video, get in contact with me. Um, you can go to the about section on my YouTube channel. Like the video, make some comments. What do you think about this technology? Is it real? Is it fake? Do you think he should be building the cars or just generators or just making batteries? Let me know. All right, peace. I'm out.